Hello everyone, this is David Ilke from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Lab International. Today I'm going to talk about short sales. What is a short sale? Short sale is basically a homeowner cannot afford their mortgages anymore and they are facing foreclosures, asking the bank if the bank would take less than what they owe them. For example, if the homeowner owes the bank $500,000, the homeowner is asking the bank, would you take 400 instead? And you're going to say, David, who would in their right mind would lose $100,000 in a transaction? Well, in reality, the banks are not losing so much money because most of that money accumulated in their mortgage is coming from the fees, penalties and interest. So if you look at the original mortgage amount, that can be as low as $300,000. But over the years, uh, when the homeowners stop making payments, the bank starts adding these penalties, fees and interest rates, the maximum interest rate allowable by the contract. So the total amount is, doesn't really reflect what the bank is losing. In this case, a uh, bank can accept the amount uh, less than what the homeowner's uh, balance is. So in our example, the bank is taking 400 instead of 500,000. So what is the advantage of short sale for the homeowners? First of all, uh, short sales allow homeowners to save their credit. As I've given examples before, uh, short sale meaning is uh, basically you owe credit cards money and then you don't pay the monthly payments and the credit cards are uh, reporting the credit agency, your credit is going down, but one day you come up with a lump sum money and you pay off your credit card. Now your balance is zero and your credit score will start going up from there. Same thing with the mortgages. Once you do a successful short sale, your mortgage balance will be zero. So from that point, your credit is going to improve. And within two years, you'll be able to apply for another mortgage and get another home. Versus if the bank foreclose on you, then you have no chance to buy anything maybe next uh, seven to ten years. Another advantage of short sale is you're not surprised by the, uh, the result uh, like such as bank is getting a judgment on you uh, on your property and uh, it's being sold in the auction. Short sale is a more controlled environment for the homeowners because at the end bank is going to need their signature to complete the short sale versus foreclosure bank doesn't even have to ask you uh, if they can put house in the auction they will notify you but they will not ask you so these advantages uh, of the short sale uh, I encourage people to uh, do it as soon as possible before they in inquire uh, more debt, more interest, more penalties and more fees. However, not every homeowner doesn't pay the mortgage can do a short sale. And let me tell you why. In our example, the homeowner owed five hundred thousand dollars and they tried to sell the house for four hundred but in some instances homeowners balance is much lower than the market value of the house let's give another example if the homeowner owes two hundred thousand dollars to the bank and their property worth five hundred thousand so this is not a short sale situation. 
even if they are not paying the mortgage. Of course, they can still be, be foreclosed on, but they can also sell the house in a regular sale and pay off their mortgage and end up with the balance of the mortgage. Unfortunately, some homeowners are not aware of this. They are thinking, I have enough equity in my house, even if I am not paying the mortgage, nothing is going to happen to me. Which is not true. Because even if you owe $10,000 and you are not paying your mortgage payments, the bank can still foreclose on you. The best example for the, these type of situations is tax liens. Sometimes you're going to see houses in the auctions, uh, the judgment balance is 10,000, 15,000. And these are not coming from mortgages, these are, they are coming from tax balances, tax liens. So even if you're not paying your taxes, which is a very small amount, they can still foreclose on your property. So let's go back to our uh, example. The homeowner owes only $200,000 and the house worth 500,000, but they are not paying the mortgage. Now, it's their benefit to sell this house as soon as possible. The reason they are risking the foreclosure if foreclosure happens, this property will be sold in the auction. Of course, they will still get back to surplus money, but now they have to pay the referee fees, attorney fees, auction fees. So in a regular sale, let's say they might end up with $300,000 in, in their hand. If they are foreclosed on and the property is sold in the auction and they are just getting the surplus money, they can end up with half of that. So that's why I encourage homeowners in these situations, list and sell your home as soon as possible. If you have any questions about these issues, you can call me on my cell phone, 347-515-3156. Or you can stop by uh, office at 20602 Hillside Avenue, corner of Hillside and Francis Lewis Boulevard. I would be happy to answer your questions 100% free of charge and no obligation. Thank you.